what's going on guys and welcome back once again to some more full metal alchemist brotherhood today we're going to be taking on two more episodes of this series we getting closer to the end not really <laughs> you know what i mean we're about a third of the way through um you know we're about a third way through but i'm reacting you know i'm getting through these episodes today i'm doing about um, six episodes in this session every time I sit down I'm gonna try to do around six episodes until we get to the end but you guys will be getting two a day until we get to the end but anyways last episode we saw that Al basically is in limbo waiting to be picked up to be reunited with his soul as a motorbike passed by my house yes <laughs> you know um it's crazy how good this story is. As I said, you know, in my last review, I said that is this the greatest anime story I've ever watched? No, it is not. Compared to some of, compared to like say a Vinland Saga in its first season or a, what else? Movie I just watched, Your Name. Compared to those things, Fullmetal Alchemist is, is decent compared to those things then that's not taking anything away from full metal right now um you know and that's just me we're getting to the end we don't i don't know where i'm just a third of the way through and it's already i would say a great story to follow it's comprehensive it's easy to follow there's some okie dokes here and there you know what i'm saying i'm not speaking if i should really do criticism or talk about this in a journalistic way you know what i'm saying i would look for all the all all the flaws you know right now there's more pros than cons let's just put it like that there's more pros than cons about this anime that i really that i really like and i will talk about all the cons when i'm doing my complete review of the entire series once we get to the end right but right now it's knocking out of knocking it out of the park it's keeping me engaged you know learning about king bradley's backstory we were kind of like iffy on who he was and how he became a homunculus and i thought he was created too but he wasn't necessarily created he was basically augmented if you want to call it that with the philosopher's stone he was basically augmented they inject philosopher's stone the liquid directly into his body and basically it's it our philosopher's stone is is basically a makeup of human um like human souls right that's what a philosopher's stone is and i think they're planning to create one again um and it seems like that's what the father wants to do right that's what father wants to do he wants to become god you know what i'm saying and he, he wants to have control over everything to be able to create and destroy whenever he wants in my opinion father just wants to become the ultimate alchemist that's about it he just he wants to be able to create at will and destroy at will with no repercussions you get what i'm saying to have nothing to answer to and he just wants to become a god you know what i'm saying so at this moment in time that's where i see the the story going and there's going to be a uh, a uh, uh, maybe i don't know I don't know how this story is going to end. I don't want to speculate either and spoil myself. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, this story is really good. Easy to follow story. Not anything too complicated. It's just the okie dokes will get you like, oh my God, I didn't even think of that. You know what I'm saying? And any good story is going to have those moments. Any good story is going to have those moments. What makes a great story? Like say, um... You know what I'm saying? Like an Attack on Titan. Those stories are just, they're amazing. You get what I'm saying? They're amazing. They're off the charts because the things that you thought you knew just keeps getting blown up into pieces every time. It's like, I think I got it figured out. Nope, 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 you don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's the great thing about it. And I love 
the this type of storytelling in this and i also love attack on titan kind of storytelling kind of what i'm going through with dark right now just finished watching season one um and it's uh, available for early access but i appreciate you guys man thank you guys so much for tuning in as always i'll see you guys for the review all right so episode what 27 28 almost at 30 <laughs> anyways um yeah man those were two very interesting episodes it's kind of like a turning point seems like it's a new season that just started at episode 27 um i'm gonna miss the opening and the ending for sure these two they're okay you know they're okay not as good as the 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 first and the second one i mean the first one first ones very good i have to say man all right so let's discuss the whole father thing to episode 27 where we saw i'm wondering if it's if he created someone did he create a, an homunculus and it went rogue you get what I'm trying to say? I'm thinking this is it because he knows about the dad. So it's not the dad. It's just somebody that looks exactly like him. So I'm wondering if he created an homunculus that looks just like him. And he just happens to be like, you know, all his hate. And, and it, it doesn't even seem like he's hateful. He just doesn't like humans. He just doesn't like how naive humans are or how emotional they are and how easy they are to manipulate. It's just like, I mean, he looked as humans as insects. I mean, what happened, bro? You know what I'm saying? And he's been around for a long time because he's been around before King Bradley became a king. Why did he choose King Bradley? Did he there's so much here there's so much here and i'm here for it man as soon as they're ready to reveal this story piece by piece to me i'm going to be here to hear what they have to say about this because it's a lot of information that just dropped in those two episodes you know what i'm saying there's a lot of information that dropped that just happened in those two episodes i don't know what to think at this moment because they completely blew my theory out of the water because i thought his dad because it looks just like his dad let's let's just be honest about it and it you know what i'm saying like they said the same thing it's like why do you look exactly like him like that's we want to know who the hell are you which you know what i'm saying like um you know to play on the the seven deadly sins and all of that stuff you got you know wrath lust greed um you got wrath lust greed um, wrath, lust, greed, gluttony. Um, what are the other three again? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I don't remember. Let me let me look that up real quick because I don't remember all of them. Seven deadly sins. They're in the Bible too. I just don't remember. I just don't remember. Da, 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 da. Bear with me. Bear with me and stop complaining. Bear with me. Stop complaining. Okay? I could have just asked Siri, to be honest. Could have just asked Siri, but I don't want to ask Siri. You know? Could we just see a picture or something? Jeez. Okay, so you have lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride, right? So we did meet pride, but we didn't see a face. It was like a little insect or whatever, a little bee. Some insect, like a, I don't remember. I think it was a bird or something. Um, we have envy, we have wrath. So we ha So I'm wondering if, if that one is sloth. I'm wondering if more than likely that sin is sloth right 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that that one is Sloth. The one that looks like their dad. That that's one. That's the one that's Sloth. Um, the way how they talk in this anime is just so much on the spiritual side of things. You know what I'm saying? Um, and to blend that in with with you know alchemy, which is is something that's actually practiced, but it's not magical like how they try to make it seem. In you know what I'm saying? Alchemy is basically like you know potions and all this other stuff you know what i'm saying it's it's there's there's some history behind alchemy but it doesn't do the stuff that you see them do with it in this anime you know what i'm saying like alchemy yeah i'm saying even the circles and stuff like that that they draw that stuff is like debunked you know what i'm saying like you can't just draw transmutation circles and have miracles happen <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you know but hey if that's what you believe that's what you believe i don't believe that that's how alchemy works because alchemy has always been associated with medicine more than anything else so it's like you know them putting a spin on it is incredible what they're doing with this anime so um i'm still curious to know what is the significant why does he have why is there um it's obvious that it's an uh, amunculus but also as the girl said it feels like um he's not human but but kind of still is so is he a mix just like king bradley you get what i'm saying um why can he do all this stuff without any kind of movement why can he perform all these things he's kind of like a god at this moment you, you know what i'm saying and, I, and he's the one that created the rest. So did he name himself Sloth or there's another Sloth out there somewhere and he's just daddy. You know what I'm saying? He's just father. You know, because they they're they not calling him Sloth. So maybe there is another homunculus out there named Sloth that's just kind of like under the undercover somewhere. Just like how we haven't really met Pride yet. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just heard the voice and a bird flying around or whatever so i'm looking forward to see where this is going to go um for some reason the the lawn man that's cutting my lawn decided to show up at this moment while i'm recording to cut the grass now i'm not loving it because it's it, i'm gonna have to stop for a little bit until he leaves because it's that lawnmower get going it's gonna be in the recording regardless of if Unless I'm going to mute and I don't want to do that because I don't want to be talking and you're not hearing me. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in as always, man. More and more as the story goes on, more and more is being revealed. And but there's still some speculation that can still go on there because you're not so sure about the things that are going on. But this show is amazing. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. As always, man, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment in the comment section, of course. And then your boy will catch you later. Terabyte out. Peace.